just want to volunteer a um, niche or something, let me know now. I'm going to pop open the chat. Jewelry? Okay. Yeah, we can do jewelry. All right. So let me show you guys how I kind of dive in here. Now, there's a bunch of different ways that we can start finding products. Uh, one of my favorite ways is literally just going to AliExpress. Okay. And we can look up links using either the VIP method. So I'll type in like VIP jewelry, for example. And what these links are that show VIP on them are pretty much, um, you know, most of the time amateur drop shippers who are using suppliers on AliExpress to fulfill their orders. And so what they do is they make these like really special little product listings for them to push their orders through so they get discounts on the products that they want to resell from these vendors. So typically what you could do is you could just type in VIP, whatever niche, or you could just type in VIP if you don't know what you want to research and you're going to be able to find all their links. Um, let's organize it by orders a little bit. Um, the reason why it really doesn't matter to like how many orders somebody has is because a lot of people don't know how to scale. So we're using this as kind of like a trailhead in order to go down and find winning products. So first, I'm just going to open this one. This looks really interesting to me. And the reason being is that uh, it's customizable. Um, it's Christmas and this is something that also could sell year round. Um, I could see people doing this for like babies and whatnot. But one of the ways I break into a store is we will click on the top selling of the store just to see what other things might be popular. And as you can see here, we have like the Cuban chain necklaces for men. Um, this automatically catches my eye. Like, look at how many orders there are on this. It's pretty cool. Signet ring looks kind of cool, but um, this is showing me that there's definitely demand for like Cuban chains. So the next thing that I will do is um, we're just going to look up Cuban chains on Google. Okay. And then we're going to start opening up multiple stores so we can track them and then we're going to look for products that are getting a lot of sales in comparison to um, the other top products. So let's see here. So let's track a couple here. So I use Shop Hunter. Um, it is my software. The partnership of Koi. But here we go. Like check this out, guys. Wow, already like seeing like really interesting stuff. Okay, tennis bracelets. This is catching my attention right here. Okay. The reason being is like, look, it's almost double the revenue compared to all these other products that are coming up. So let's see here. So right now, like, let's take a look at this product here. Okay. So tennis bracelets, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. So it's actually a combo. See, so like what they're doing here is they're increasing their average order value by bringing this up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tag these. So I'm going to create a new tag, or as I call this jewelry, just in case there's sites we want to come back to and track later. I'm going to add that tag here. Let's find our jewelry tag. Boom. All right. And let's take a look at this product combo that's doing so well. So let's see, this is the gold shop, just right here. All right, where's that bundle? There it is, okay. This right here is doing amazing for these guys. And the reason, like I said, is they're able to sell two products in one listing, which will increase their average order value. And this is gonna give them a lot more profit to work with in advertising. Typically, the more profit that you have to work with means the more you're going to be able to spend on ads and the more you can scale a product. So definitely consider that like when you're looking at products to sell. A lot of jewelry is cheap, right? Like I'm sure a lot of you guys know like where Felicity, right? Um, you know, this product does do well, for example, but Look at how much margin you're having to work with on a product like this versus 
this set, which is 227. Okay. So like if we wanted to source this product because it looks pretty good, we could literally just like go to Alibaba. And we're going to find suppliers that are going to have this. And we're going to look for the cheap guys. Like, look, this is silver. Now, this is not necessarily silver, but maybe it is. Let's take a look and see. So, you know, I know a lot of people lie on their jewelry. It'll be like silver plated too. It's the material. Here we go. Yeah, plated, gold plated, you know. So keep that in mind, like when you're looking the source things, okay, like still a good price, right? You could probably put together a kit, I'm guessing for like 20 to $40 on this. Just kind of given a range, but look at how much margin you're going to have left. You know, this is going to give you like almost $180 to work with if you're able to get within that range. So that's something that would like automatically catch my attention. And here we see um, cluster tennis bracelets. Um, kind of just like look at this thing. Here we can see like tennis bracelets and necklaces are their top like four selling products. So if I was gonna get into jewelry, I would build a store and then I would go up like after tennis bracelets for sure, like right away. Because look at boom, 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 boom. Like that's huge to me. But let's dive into um, the next store. Let's see here. This is Timu. I know that this is not a Shopify store just because of how it's designed. It looks very Chinese. But I could be wrong. So, you know, sometimes I'll try them. Let's see if we can find anything on this. Of course, I was right. Okay, so we're going to get to the next Craft London. Like I said, if any of you guys have questions during this, just pop it up in the Hangout open chat and I will see your questions there. I'm not sure if any of you have like left anything in the free chat, but I'm going to take a look real quick just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, can we use VIP listings uh, or is this exclusive to specific people? Anybody can go to AliExpress and look up uh, VIP. It's just something that you're going to search for, guys. Um, yeah, let's leave all the questions in the Hangout chat on here, and let's take a look at Crafted. Okay. All right, Crafted. Um, if I'm looking to build out this jewelry brand, um, I could also see here that Make Your Own Set is popular, and this is probably the layered um, necklaces, I'm thinking. If they're not doing that, they should be. Let's take a look. Okay, cool. Yeah, so they're doing two chains at once. See, this is how you get your average order value up, guys. It's really smart. So you're forcing them to buy two chains instead of one, where if they're just selling one, look, it might be like around $50 or $60. They're not going to have a big enough margin to work with. And that's why this is doing so well compared to everything else on their site. And look, their second top winning product, same deal. It's a make your own set. Okay, so like when you're looking at this, like analyze it and think why, what makes this so successful. And so if I was going to do a jewelry store too, um, you know, I would do the make your own sets and I would also do the combo with the tennis bracelets. And you don't have to have like that compass thing, whatever. This is like their own deal, um, but I'm sure you could find it. Like if you really want it and this is like a trending thing, like it's just how you search guys, like compass. Um, necklace, men's, okay, like look, you can find it, it's here, <laughs> look how cheap this shit is, but like this chain is kind of cheap guys, so like pay attention when you're sourcing this type of stuff, you don't source like bullshit products that aren't going to be the same, that are going to be from, you know, different from what you guys are selling, like let's take a look here at this, actually, you know what, this is the exact chain. You know, I only say it's cheap because, like, I've sold jewelry before. Like, here, I think I have one of my old pieces of jewelry, okay? All right. You guys ever seen this? Like, so greasy as fuck, but um, let me open it, okay? This necklace right here is a jewelry piece that we did a million dollars with in 30 days. And you just engrave the different sides. Um, I actually have an engraver back there for, like, concepting jewelry. 
But like I said, it has a different chain on it. We've dealt with this style chain here. It's okay, but like you could kind of like upgrade this combo and add a little bit more value. If it were me, you know, that's what I would do. But also split test, you know, see if maybe if people want to buy this chain, they could. But I'm just saying like, this is cheap, guys. Look at the price here, okay? Let's find it again, right here. Like, you can get this for like hella cheap. 261, like you're gonna be spending like probably like around four to five dollars if you find a good supplier. Okay guys? So, kind of moving on, let's um, take a look and see what else we would like add to our jewelry store if we were gonna get into this niche. The goo shop, uh, let's take a look. These guys are like real blingy, of course. This is something we could also get from China. So let's open up their shop and see if we can track anything here. Okay. All right. I'm gonna switch up this music a little bit here. Custom letter. Ooh, this is a good one too. Um, they're not doing as much volume. Um, let me see. And this needs a little bit more. No, 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 no. Okay, so let's check this out. Because they have so many different types of custom stuff, it's like really spread out here, okay? But we can automatically tell that custom letter and custom picture necklaces are selling. But this custom letter, okay, let's take a look at it on their store. The goo shot, man. I'm gonna close this out, make some room. Okay, custom letter, okay. Necklace. I just want to make sure there are different styles here. So this is the big crown that's doing really well on their site. So I'm gonna type in big crown here. Yep. Big crown 3D disc. Big crown. Yep, this is the disc. Look at this. this is some wrapper jewelry here, guys. You can go to the clubs with this. No, I don't recommend that. Just be yourself, but <laughs> Um, this is pretty cool. $499. Okay. This is insane. Their margins are probably pretty big on this. Let's like, grab this and let's see if we could find it too on here. Okay, this one might be a little bit harder, but you're just going to have to dig a little bit deeper. So it's going to be a custom letter necklace. And then I'm going to delete um, this. We're going to say disc. Okay. And so like if I was going to source this, I would find maybe like a supplier like this. This looks close to it. Okay, let's take a look at this again so we can just compare. This is way more blingy. And the other one is um, spinning. But you could also contact like these suppliers that have similar stuff and send them the picture or the product from that site and just be like, hey, um, can you source this? I see you have similar jewelry and they're going to want your business. So a lot of times they're going to try to find it if they don't have it, but this is similar here. Okay. Let's take a look. This looks very similar guys. Look. This website is like broken. Oh wait here. I can't click on these images. Like that is a really bad user experience. I'm just going to say, do not do this. Shit, did my mouse die on me? All right, we're gonna go to the computer here. All right, so this is like a really bad user experience. All right, cool. So this looks like it's it. Um, the only thing that you have to now consider is the chain, okay? Because look, this is a different chain here. So it's gonna be a little bit more expensive because they paired it together. But this is totally the same thing, guys. And how much is this here? It's $16, and then we're gonna have the cost of the chain. So like if we check out this supplier here, looks like they have all these different chains and like they got like tennis bracelet type stuff too. So you can always see what else they have. Super easy guys, like we could be building like a really nice men's jewelry brand just off of like what we're finding already. So let's take a look here. And then the custom picture pendants. Let's see here. I'll get to the questions here in a second, guys. I just want to check out this picture pendant. 
see what type of pictures they're putting on it. Is it dog pictures? Is it deceased people? <laughs> you never know. I mean, I've seen some weird stuff. Picture pendants. Okay. Yeah. So like whatever you want. I guess you can put like your girlfriend, your grandma, uh, whatever you want on this thing. You just upload a picture and they'll do it. Um, and well, that looks kind of like, um, I saw that these guys also have picture ones. These are way fancier. Knowing that like this is a trend for these guys, um, you can also like try some different styles too, um, just to offer something different. A lot of times that'll work really well. And this is a spinning one, so like keep that in mind, 3D spinning pendant. We saw that um, there was another supplier that did spinning like pictures. So like you do like, let's see here, custom picture, spinning necklace disc, right? Boom, look, here it is. $4.90 to $12 plus for shipping. You know, just get a bunch of different clothes. Or if you have an agent that you're working with, you know, hit them up. Um, let's see, I'm going to answer some questions here. Child education niche and couples niche. Yeah, we could dive into those too. Yeah. Uh, what kind of niche products would you recommend for a beginner to start an advertising on Facebook in your opinion? Um, all right, you want to pick like an evergreen product, in my opinion, okay? If you're just like getting going. Because like following trends and stuff, like the trend could die, right? So you're going to be going out for something that's way more risky. And I believe in building brands versus trying to just chase trends because you're going to always be chasing trends if you're like trying to sell like the latest shark slides or you know not that you can't build a brand out of that but like consider this okay if you're selling shark slippers you're going to want to expand your product line and sell other types of slippers cow slippers dog slippers you know what i mean don't just stick and like corner yourself and call your website shark slides and then you can't sell anything but shark slides you know maybe call it you know super slide you know shoe company or super <laughs> that's a little bad but you, you get the idea like just don't corner yourself because then you have to make a new store just to expand your product line because you chased a trend and it's no fun at the end of the day but um you know, continuing on, um, you guys get the idea, you know, that this is how easy it is to find jewelry stuff. Like if you wanted to keep expanding on these stores, um, all you got to do is like, just keep taking the top products and then just Google search them. Okay. So like, if you're running out of ideas, just search it and then you're going to find other stores on here, like Brilliant Earth, Festival, Jewelry US. And you're gonna like load these stores in the shop honor and then you're gonna see like what their other top sellers are this is i guess i i call it like my rabbit hole product research method because you could just keep googling um products even if they're not the top products on there um you're gonna find other stores and then you just gotta look at like what they're selling the most of in order to like find other winning products and keep in mind like just because it's not a winning product for one store doesn't mean that it can't be a winning product for another store so always like dig deeper to figure it out because some people just don't have a good marketing angle and you know they just never looked at the competition to know like how to get it to work or they're not creative enough so maybe they didn't test enough too you know there's a lot of reasons why products may not work for one person versus another person so let's see if i was going to do baby products um just kind of bridging off on like the VIP method, I could just type in like VIP baby, for example. Okay. Look, look at this. <laughs> I know plushies, I work really well. Um, crib decorators. This is probably like the pad baby. So I'm going to make some room. We're going to kind of like break into this new niche of like baby stuff just to show you guys like how easy it is to like really. Ooh, man. Some of these look really good, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of babies that don't know how to swim. You don't want them to drown. So I'm just gonna open up a few of these that like kind of like catch my eye. I'm gonna say like when you're doing product research like this, um, look for products that solve a problem. And you may not know this, but like even jewelry solves a problem, guys. Um, do any of you know? 
problem jewelry solves for people. I'm just curious if anybody can figure this one out. Drip. <laughs> mm, I don't know about that one. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you, okay. Jewelry sells self-confidence. Okay. Exactly. It makes people feel better. Okay. Because a lot of people go out and they're like, they're not confident with who they are. And by having something expensive, like a Richard Milley watch or a Rolex, um, it makes them feel more important and it gives them more self-confidence. So always, you know, consider what problem a product is selling status to. Yeah. You want to fit in. You want people to know you have money, you know, maybe it's a networking thing. You know, there's a lot of really good problems that products solve, but a lot of people miss that boat and then they never use that marketing angle. You know what I mean? And it's not like you're going to sell jewelry and be like, Oh, do you want to be more confident? Wear this necklace. No, you have to do it in a subtle way that like speaks to that audience. So, you know, just consider it, you know, and the way that you're going to do that with jewelry, for example, is you're going to show somebody who's confident wearing your jewelry out in a place where you would want to be confident, like a club or a restaurant. You know, you're kind of like selling that lifestyle because like people want to go places that they enjoy and they want to feel confident there, you know, but they, some people, they feel naked without like their watch or, um, you know, their necklace or whatever. I don't wear watches or necklaces and, you know, how I feel confident. Yeah, okay, I work out, you know, but some, for those of you who don't know, but anyhow, so I'll buy like workout equipment makes me feel confident. <laughs> So uh, moving on, we're going to look at the baby stuff, baby, baby. Let's check out my orders. Um, lately, AliExpress has been kind of weird where it hasn't really been giving like the top orders on here. So you guys got to just like kind of like buy things that, oops, that look good. So I'm going to open this in a new tab. Okay. Well, that's kind of cute. 81 sold. That looks like it might be interesting. Okay. You know, just like these stuffed animals and stuff, like you're selling comfort, you know? A lot of people's kids cry because they're uncomfortable or they're scared. So, you know, you want to help them make their baby not cry, which is a problem. <laughs> um, this is kind of cool. What is this? A non inflatable, so it can't pop. Cool. Swimming, floaty, buoy trainer for babies. This is kind of long, okay? But I'm just going to grab part of this. And I'm going to search this on Google. We'll see if we can find someone. Oh, look, here we go. Okay. So breaking into the baby niche, I'm going to open up a few of these so we can track them. We did that one. Like this, these guys are like going pretty hard. You can see multiple advertisements. That's usually a good sign. And it looks like, look, they're not even using their brand on here. They're just reselling this from AliExpress. Like what was this called? It was like the, the M brand or whatever. Okay. Look, mom, mom baby, or mom bo baby. <laughs> you guys get the idea. And they're, they're not even branding this. Okay, so automatically, since um, Giraffe Giraffe is going for it pretty hard, I'm going to track their site. Like, that's a good sign to me. So I'm going to load it up. Let's take a look here. I'm going to add a new tag so I can sort these. We're going to go after baby. All right, now let me go back. Select our baby tag. Okay. Um, this site's going to need a little bit of time to track um, when a site's new and it hasn't been tracked before. A lot of times it's a really good sign, which means that someone has not discovered this product yet. But let's add a few more stores on here and see if uh, anyone else has started tracking these other ones. So I'm going to go here. The baby bubble store. Okay, look, someone was tracking this. They stopped tracking it here. So if you're ever like using Shop Better, you see gaps like this. It just means that someone stopped tracking it. And then recently someone started tracking it again. Um, just don't waste resources 
on tracking sites that um, <laughs> no one is tracking because um, if we just tracked every single store on Shopify and gave you all the data, everyone's going to advertise the same stuff. So like we want you to find your own stores because that's where the opportunity is going to be. And you're not going to be like using these other tools where you just organize it by the most views or most engagement. And then everyone, you know, just ends up advertising the same thing. You know, no one's able to really, um, you know, be different than each other. Well, let's take a look here. Okay. Uh, Walker anti-roller. Okay. Um, you know, this is kind of like low volume. So I'm going to just also look at what else we have on here. I'm going to tag it so we know we can check it out later too. Okay. So we did baby bubble. I'm going to close that one out. Um, pretty sure we did draft draft. Um, I'm getting old, so my memory is not always the best. So I'm just going to double check. Yep, we did. Okay. Now let's go to the next. Okay, we're gonna do Otteru. Let's see here, we have Baby Floaties. Looks like that's pretty niche. I like that. Okay, this is gonna need a little bit of time because nobody's tracked this. See, I love these ones that no one has tracked because to me it's like, since no one is thinking like we're thinking. Let's see, we did that one. Okay. What do we have? Hey, baby. Okay, so like, here's the deal, guys. If you're like wanting to continue to like dive into um, more baby products off of these, okay, it gets very, very simple. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here, we're gonna grab our baby stores, okay? The baby bubble store has the most sales. And then we're going to take one of their products, even though it hasn't had a lot of sales. Okay. And then we're going to search this up. Okay. And then we're going to come across other baby brands. Okay. Like, look at this. We just saw this product on AliExpress. Same with this one. Okay. I'm going to pull these up, see if we can get some data on these. And it's going to need some more time. Love it. This is exactly what I love to see. These are all into something. Okay. What's happening? Does someone have a question? Okay. So what I'm doing is essentially I'm building out a bunch of stores that I can track. And come back to you. Okay. Now I'm going to flip back over here to our VIP and just see what other products might look good. See if we can find some stores that people are already tracking. Okay. Let's see. Okay. We opened up this one. I'm going to check out the top selling too for ideas. All right. Yeah. This is all slim stuff. Okay. Let's see, this one, so this is a large elephant, plush elephant. And here's the fun thing too, is like this one might lead us towards like a plushy niche. Melissa and Doug, they're a big brand. Vermont Teddy Bear Company, same thing. World Wildlife Fund. Legend Bracelet, look at this. What is this? Wow, look, they went from selling jewelry <laughs> to selling plushies, guys. Why would anybody do this, right? That's what you might be asking yourself. Well, because, look, it's, it's selling. Um, okay, let me explain this site so we could both kind of like look at this together, all right? Um, plushies are good to sell. I can tell you that I know some people who do really well with plushies. Okay. Um, this site, if I'm familiar with them, I would say that they are doing some type of donations for like saving turtles and elephants. This is also like a really good angle, guys. So 
Um, it gives purpose, okay, and it makes people feel good about their purchase. Um, so what they're able to do is they're able to expand their product line by giving, you know, selling these plushies with a purpose, okay? <clears throat> So there are charities out here, and I'm sure these guys might not be donating. Maybe they are. I don't know. Um, but look at this. Out of stock. <laughs> it's sold out, guys. And it looks like they have, like, some app for, like, turtles. But I'm sure, like, they give you the same turtle, probably. Maybe. I don't know. When you get turtle. But, like, look at all this. These, like, emotional photos of saving turtles. Making a difference, guys. But... Really, if you wanted to run a company like this legit, you would find a charity for saving the turtles and you would actually just donate a portion of your proceeds to that charity. And that would be the legit way of doing it. But, you know, try to actually help, you know, I believe in karma. So if you're not helping and you're just taking that money for yourself, you never know, you know, something might happen to you one day. A turtle might bite your ass, who knows? <laughs> But um, this is a really cool idea, okay? Um, and like I said, like, this is the rabbit hole method for product research. So I could take this and just search for it, okay? And it'll pull up tons of other plushy stores that we could kind of segue into. So let's see, early learning company. Okay, this might have to do with kids, but it's a little bit more of like a bigger brand. So I'm gonna kind of skip that. I wanna go after more like product like drop shippy type stores you know this is a more established store um might not be shopify but let's take a look and i'm going to tag this okay now that we're kind of getting into this like new niche of plushies i'm going to go back here plushies we're going to add some new stores in here so we've got stuff so far yep you call it when I see it, guys. That is not a Shopify store. So we're gonna look for some more stuff. So far, use that animal den, maybe. What is this? Some weird stuff, man. Eleven dollars. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. You see this? I do not like that price at all. I don't care how cheap this is, but I'm really kind of curious, like, what is going on here? What are these guys doing? Toki Toki. I mean. Should we see if it's trackable? I don't know, man. I'm really kind of curious when I see like weird stuff because, all right, yeah, it's gonna need some time to track. Um, but what I will do, guys, is um, tomorrow for the sites that needed time to track, I'll come in here and do like a quick live and just show you guys some of the results just so you can see what we ended up finding, okay? So, all right. We found plushies by looking up elephants, okay? Um, let's see if there's any other stuff on here. Two nines, cuddle kinds, and some weird stuffed animals. I just want to see if this is a brand or not. Looks a little bit more established, kind of custom. Let's see, do they have other baby products or anything that we can kind of segue into? Yeah. Well, even like a store like this, okay? If you were like doing product research and you wanted to get an idea of things that sell it's really easy because all you have to do is look at the top list and even if it's something that is not like let's just say for example like this deer was on the top list you could you know look up deer plushies okay and like pursue that but this store needs some time to track if you're ever a shop hunter and you don't see any data here okay and you see this, this is incorrect. And so you give it 24 hours, so don't let that trick you, okay? Let's continue on and see what other VIP BB stuff we can find. Let's see, anything interesting? I like problem solving stuff. Um, let me look up like um, crib, for example, because crib accessories are pretty hot. Oh yeah, there was this, there was a like, crib decor. But really, like, if you know the baby niche, um, I can tell you this is not exactly decor. It, like, protects the baby in the crib from hitting the sides of the crib. See? And that's why they line it up on the side. But people don't know what to call.
I heard someone. I'm not sure if it was a question, but it sounds like background noise. All right. Let's see here. Selling. I'm going to look at some of these other guys too. So we already checked that one. Okay. Let's top selling with this door real quick. Oh, whoa. Look at this plushie. These light up bears. Wow, this is cool. Guys, like of light up teddy bears and stars. They're close enough in sales, so I'm going to delete this. Wow, this is pretty cool. Wicked Uncle. Okay, I'll open up that one. Got this one. That's weird. What is this? Dude, I would just like click on the weirdest shit I'm telling you because I want to know things that could be popular that I just don't know exist. So like, let your curiosity guide you sometimes when you're doing product research, guys. Like, what is this? Yeah, it's not Shopify. All right, we're going to continue on our road of light up teddy bears. Yeah, it's not Shopify either. Going Wicked Uncle. This may not be a shot five, but I'm going to try. Saw Bubble Tea plushies on TikTok. Yeah, we could check that out next, too. Let me see if I can find a teddy bear that we can try. Not sure. Next merch. Look, some of these are like total um, general stores, but I'll tell you the benefit of like tracking stores that our general stores is they test a lot of like really crazy different stuff and can kind of lead you to finding other things. So I'm going to grab this real quick here. Let's see if we can pull any data from the, the best gift shoppers. All right. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, they, they don't do volume, okay, but this can lead you to find really interesting things. Garbage truck construction vehicles, okay, like what is this? Whoa. If I was a kid, I might like this. Because look, it takes out the trash. Like, this isn't just some ordinary garbage truck, guys. This is an interactive garbage truck where you can pull the handle and take the trash out. And that is cool. I can see why that could be popular, actually. Um, you know, it might not be like a product you're going to knock out of the ballpark, right? But still, you know. It's pretty decent, an idea. So, yeah, but geek in city. It looks like there's a bunch of like other toy companies that are like trying to get on board with taking the trash out. Like, this isn't any of that cool. Come on, let's look at it. Geek in city. What kind of store is this? Oh yeah, this looks like some Shopify type. Yes, doing kid stuff. Oh man, I want to do this. This looks fun, guys. Someone buy me this for Christmas, please. <laughs> All right, let's, let's check it out. I'm going to drop into... Thanks, Dems. Um, Geek and City. I'm too curious. Mm -hmm. Kids toys. Um, just be careful, you know, with kids toys. Uh, you don't want to sell anything that's a choking hazard. Um, you know, just be smart, guys. RC smart robot, uh, extra large airplane vehicle playset. Like here I could tell like, you know, just a few interesting things, but you know, the, I will say like toys are cool and all, but I like more evergreen stuff. Um, toys are going to be kind of like more of like a trendy type product. Okay. Kids get bored of stuff quick and they want all sorts of different stuff. So yeah. The kid dies on a ch or chokes on your product. Can they link to your company? They could, man. So like, here's the deal. It's like, if you're going to sell anything, like know your packaging too and know the risk. Okay. Because if you're not willing to take on some level of risk, um, you know, you might not make any moves in the first place, but if you are and you, um, get serious about it and you build a brand and you're not just reselling someone else's stuff, then you're going to want to look into how to protect yourself 
when you scale a company out and you have millions of toys out there that you're selling to people like you don't want to sell like toys with lead in them you know just like learn like about the materials about um, what companies do to protect themselves so like if you're in walmart or you're going to target go through the toy section and see like what warnings are on the packages and just learn more about it like, but don't let it like scare you from getting into something the best way to learn is just by doing guys so you know check it out you know get your hands dirty because there's no better way to learn but if you're gonna sit back and just like look at it and like keep kind of um what do you call it like analysis paralysis we just overanalyze it you're never gonna take those steps to actually move forward with it so let's um you know take more action to learn instead of just overanalyzing and planning because you, you just plan all day you're never gonna do anything it's like masturbation of the mind almost you know but all right continuing on let's see what else we can find guys uh, if anyone has any other recommendations to you for initiatives, I'm always happy to kind of jump in there. But I'm going to take a look here at these stars, too. Let's see here. And I'm going to close up some of these guys. Okay. DH gate, of course, because I use like really. This is going to be like a glowing. Star plushy glowing star. Ooh, if I can spell glowing. No, glowing star. Plushie. Beauty and hair care. All right. Oh, look, guys. Look. What do we find here? Avatar. As I would say on my TikTok, is this glowing star pillow a winning product? Let's find out. Let's track this one and find out, guys. All right, it's gonna need a little bit more time. I'm gonna add it under plushies. And I'm excited to like come back tomorrow and see what we find from these guys. Let's see, Express Goods, Tepi.co. Man, that is like totally a general store. High ticket products, we can find them all. We're gonna find all the amazing products. Okay, so like high ticket products are like a little bit of a different beast, okay, because you're gonna be like working with like wholesale accounts and whatnot. But um, I'll show you, you know, an example it would be like, um, we call them ice plunge tubs, okay? Uh, just to kind of give you guys like an idea, all right? Oops, let's go back here. Uh, <clears throat> these are products that like, you know, People who are a little bit more stylish in life are going to buy, you know. And with high ticket, you're going to be, like I said, working with wholesale accounts. So you're going to be like going to like these different brands to get the products to drop ship them. You're not going to stock these. Um, you're going to get wholesale accounts from existing brands by calling them up, asking them for an application, and you're going to then create a site and market them on Google with um, high ticket type stuff. You're going to um, <coughs> be focusing on like Google shopping and you're going to want to target the make, the model and the SKU um, because that's where you're going to get your highest return on advertising. Um, you're not going to want to just like take, for example, <coughs> okay, this ice barrel, if you're might be actually a really bad example. Let me find a better one. Like this finished sauna, okay, and you're gonna advertise this on sauna. That's a bad idea, guys, because you know how competitive it is to advertise on sauna. You want to advertise on like terms like finished sauna, for example, or um, pre-built outdoor sauna. You want to be like, even that is a little much. Like I would definitely go for like the brand, and, like I said, the make the model and the SKU number. That's kind of a hack with um, high ticket when you're getting started out. Otherwise, you're just going to burn a lot of money. Um, you're targeting like these long tail keywords, unless it's just not as competitive, guys. Um, and I would do Google with high ticket, not Facebook. Um, you can do Amazon as well. 
if you get the brand's permission, you can just um, do fulfillment by merchant, is what they call it, where you'll be up on that listing. And when an order comes to your Amazon store, you're gonna push it to the merchant. But of course you wanna make sure that you have proper inventory tracking. I will say like, from my experience at Amazon, if you sell something that is not in stock, it's gonna hurt your account. Um, so, you know, look at, I'm just gonna give you guys a resource, um, inventory source, okay? Uh, what this does is this is a software a lot of Amazon people use in order to um, automate like inventory to Amazon. You could also do Shopify, but Shopify doesn't matter as much because like you can just cancel and refund an order uh, when you're doing high ticket guys. And these guys also have like a supplier directory, but like I said, this is wholesale. It's a whole different beast than like um, finding products from China. Uh, your margins are going to be less in this type of business compared to drop shipping um, or building a brand from China because you're dealing with the middleman. Just a heads up, guys. Uh, let's look back here. Only oh, 25 stores to track. You know, Ahmed, if you're interested in Shop Hunter, um, hit up Koi, Dems, or um, myself. We'll hook you up with a coupon, man. Um, I believe in people's success. So if we can help you find the first few winning products so you can, um, you know, support us in exchange, we would love that. Don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> Let's see here. Safety equipment for workers. Yeah, that is a great niche. I'm just going to say because it solves a problem. Okay? It's an evergreen product. That is ideally what you guys want to be selling are products that people are going to need year round. And they're going to need it next year and the next year. You know, everyone's going to need safety helmets. But I guess do you like safety equipment? And the thing is like, when you start doing research in something like safety equipment, for example, you're going to learn about OSHA and you're going to know that there are all sorts of different regulations on job sites. So like if I was going to get in safety equipment, the first thing I would think of, right, would be like safety helmets. Okay. And we're not going to use the VIP method for this because it's a little bit, you know, for fans, but what I would do, okay is we're going to find like one product on here and then we're going to look at the top sellers to see if we could kind of like find the trail because this is cool it's like an accessory for safety helmets it solves the problem because people are working out in the sun okay and these helmets don't exactly provide shade right so this would catch my attention in a major major way okay so i'm going to click on the top selling a good idea. Okay, look, these guys are selling totally different stuff than safety equipment. Not to say you couldn't sell this stuff, but um, you know, if we're trying to do safety equipment or expand our product line, that's not going to be helpful for us. Uh, let's look at orders here. Okay. Looks like a carbon fiber helmet. Um, it's not exactly carbon fiber, I can tell you, like for sure. Okay, guys, this looks like it was like dips. See. But you know, you can get other ideas from it, but yeah, safety equipment. This might not be like the best route. But you know, say we knew like one item for safety equipment. Um safety hard hat, right? All you'd have to do is like literally just Google, okay, and find a store. Let's see what is this? Or like, just do like something super broad. Like this is exactly what I do actually. Let's just say like safety equipment, okay? Like any helmet could be safety equipment, okay? Weimar Bike Universe. Camp off road. Yo. Ooh, you know what? This catches my eye. Welding stuff, okay? When you're talking safety equipment, man. Welding masks like really catch my attention. Dude, look at the price of this versus like a hard hat helmet. Okay. Um, when I do a lot of product research, like what catches my attention is going to be audience size. Okay. Number one, how many people can you sell it to? How many welders are there out there? Let's see, we're going to add a tag on here real quick. Safety. Okay. 
The other thing is uh, margins as well. If you have like really big margins, like on this product, for example, um, you can definitely do some damage on it. And this looks like one of those helmets that has this in front of it. Now, what this does, I can tell you, I know a little bit about welding. Um, it will detect when you start welding. It'll automatically darken your mask to protect your eyes. So I want to look more into welding just because I know that that's probably a really good niche. Let these guys be Spawning Co. So you see, giving some pretty decent discounts. And with welding too, like you don't necessarily have to go to China for these products. This is something that you could be working with wholesalers. There are a lot of companies that are providing and reselling safety equipment. Welding store. Yeah, this this could be Shopify actually. Kind of have like a Shopify eye detector. I can tell like if the store is Shopify or not. But like I said, thinking about like safety products is really smart because it's not something like your common e-commerce person is going to think about when they're doing product research. And to me, like, honestly, those are the best niches to get into is like those really boring niches that no one else like wants to sell stuff in or, um, you know, they just don't think about it. They're looking at like the top selling products on PP ads or all these other ad spy tools, right? Oh, I know everybody wants that. It's what e-commerce people love, right? But guys, you gotta break out of that habit of thinking like e-commerce and drop shippers because you're just gonna like advertise the same stuff as everyone else. You know, like I'll give you an idea right now. Um, so we're gonna be wrapping this up here and I'll answer some questions, of course. Um, however, you guys ever consider selling bouncy castles? I bet you guys have never seen bouncy castles on any ad spy tool, right? Look at this, guys. Look at the holy shit playground, man. Like inflatable zone. No one ever thinks about these types of products because everyone's stuck looking at the same information, trying to look at the same data, at you know, same filters, same database. It's fucking bullshit, guys. Start, start thinking differently, please. Cause you're going to find stuff that no one else is advertising. And then you're going to build a company that is just going to like consistently make you a shit ton of money. I'm telling you, like, break out of that box. That's honestly what made me successful is I stopped looking at all these products that everyone else is selling. Or trying to, you know, kind of ad spy stuff, man. Like, come on. Like, well, are we gonna sell fidget spinners next week again? You know, I mean, <laughs> think differently, guys. Like, everyone's in this like kind of like e-commerce bubble where we all end up like looking at each other's stores. This guy's selling that. This guy's selling this. But you know, we all sell the same stuff at the end of the day. When like no one would think of selling balancing castles. I know it's a fact because no one's tracking this stuff, guys. Like, so whenever I find stores that there's no data on, like, I'm excited. I'm just gonna call this bouncy. Because that means that there's less competition and you're able to, I would call it out thinking people because you're thinking way differently oh man i hit my max on my stores i'm gonna have to delete some um i'm gonna track some bouncy castle stores and some other stores guys and tomorrow we're gonna come back and take a look at what we find okay um but for the rest of this i'm gonna open it up for questions over the next 10 minutes and let's see what you guys got for me um in the meantime uh, i just want to thank everyone who's watching this recording